Electric picnic. For those of you that don't know what electric picnic is, this is my general consensus of the event as someone that has attended the past two years and has done very, very vague research. I've just kind of skimmed over it and this is what I've come up with. So Electric Picnic, also commonly referred to as EP, is an annual arts and music festival which has been staged since 2004 in Straw Valley County, Leash, Ireland. It is a weekend-long camping festival running typically from late August to early September. It tends to lean more on the indie rock side of music with acts in the past such as The Cure, Arctic Monkeys, The Killers and Tame Impala, just to name a few. So this vlog is just my experience myself going just as a completely bang average normal person. So... Hope you enjoy. The day is currently Thursday 29th, so Electric Picnic is in two minus two days. That is so exciting. If you're wondering why I have my hood up, and I probably will for the next few videos, if you've ever been to a festival, there is nothing worse than like day three and your hair is greasy as fuck and no amount of dry shampoo can save it. So I have been training my hair, I am pushing it two days. To have an everything shower, have it washed, have it clean, have it straightened, and ready to go. It is 8.26. I have finally gained the motivation to start packing. One hour later. It was 9.43. Have I packed? No. Will I pack? No. Am I planning on packing tomorrow? Yes. Did I tell my Scott that my eggs are fully packed? Yes. He goes, what do you have? I said, loads. I said, I'm all packed, babes. He said, all? I said, no. In the morning. <laughs> Because there's nothing there, so I need to figure out what outfits I need quick. I'm going to set my alarm for 6am tomorrow morning and, like, gaslight myself that, like, I'm an influencer and that, like, people are going to watch my videos. So, like, I need to be, like, a what's in my bag kind of girl, you know what I mean? So, hopefully, I'll wake up early in the morning. But we'll see. Right now, I'm going to go to sleep, though, because I was in work early today and I'm tired. So, Tuesday to 29th, out. I have not packed a single thing, but I have loads of clothes just on my bed, waiting to be packed. So that's a start. It is 9.57. I'm trying on outfits and I'm finally packing my bag. Actually, this time. It is five past nine. I seriously need to start finishing my shit. I'm going to go shower and do my everything, like, shape my hair, eyelashes, all that shit now. Pray for me that I'm ready in time because I don't think I will be. 12 36, Thursday, the 31st. I have finally packed all my bags. I told Scott I was meeting him in town at one, had to push back to half one, and I'm currently getting a lift because that's where I'm at right now. So I think I'm packed. I think. I think I'm packed. I think I have everything. Um, ah, okay. On my way. <sighs> okay, so I'm at the bus stop. Where we're going to get our bus. Um, currently on a camp chair, it's like fall today. Scott's going to get a little sweet treat before we go. It is currently 12 past 11. 12 past 1, sorry. Our bus is until half 2. I don't know why we're so early, but we're here anyways. Um, we have like all of our stuff literally just chilling here. There's a few other people here, like more than I thought there would have been. So yeah, now we'll be getting on the bus soon. By soon, I mean an hour and a half. It is 1.38 and we're on the bus. There's like one that was supposed to be due a half one. And even though, like, because we had a ticket for, like, the same company, if that makes sense, they were just like, yeah, yeah, everyone get on, just get a wristband, just go, go, go. So I think we have this wristband here. Oh, it's not showing, it's the wrong wrist. That's probably why. This one there. That one, do we get that on the way back then? We just show that. So then on our way back, we just say, oh, my God, hey. And then, yeah, we get back on the bus. This is Scott. Say hi. Carry all this shit up. It's 317. We are here, but we can't get in yet because the like thing doesn't open till four. But we're here. Everyone's like, after taking their camping chairs out, like I'm in my camping chair, and everyone's just waiting. The entrance is like literally right behind me. You can see that little sign there, and everyone's still getting off the bus. I'm making the brave trek to see what the poor potties are like. They should be clean because, like, we literally just got here. It's currently half three just passed so we'll be on in like 30 minutes now but like I don't know if it's gonna focus there there's a lot more people than I thought it was gonna be I don't 
know why I thought it was going to be so last, but then again, like, considering, like, the scale of the festival. Here's, like, a better view of everyone. But, um, yeah, poor bodies are clean right now. And everyone's drinking. Like, there's loads of people speaking. Well. Some people have big, huge boxes. And I'm like, what are you bringing in with you? We think it's a gazebo. But who knows? You know? Currently have to zigzag through all of this. Kill me. Just got through the um, security part there. Bag check and all. We're just waiting to get our tickets stamped. Um, Scott's still going through. This is so much work carrying all these bags. And I'm not even carrying that much. Like it's literally just my gym bag, my backpack. And I can't be sure, but oh my God, it's so heavy. They won't let me go through because I don't have the early entry pass, but Scott does, and he's still there. I don't know why they're taking so long with him. Like, not due to his fault, don't get me wrong. I just feel like his security guard's like real thorough or something. Because I can't even see him. This is early entrance core. Look how empty it is. There's like not a single tent set up yet. This is the most amount of athletic effort I've put in quite some time. Oh my god, this is so difficult. Literally, so dead. It is 10.52, we have officially made it. I'm sweating, look, you can see there, my shoulders are like burning. I'm carrying all this dirt. Scott's starting to set me tent. I've just seen a few of the girls I know from school, they're like directly across from me, so that's pretty chill. But yeah, I'm gonna help them set up a tent now, oh my god. The tent. Wow. This is Scott's inflatable mattress. The pump is like in the air mattress. He's very proud of this. This purchase. Tent tour. Give us a little tent tour, Scott. Here's the porch. Window. Window. Door. door. Yeah. And then. Just plugged in my first port with charger. It was raining, it's kind of like still drizzling like a little bit. But um, it's actually so much busier than I thought it was. It's kind of insane. Is everybody has a tent right now. Oh God, my podcast are like really ill. Um, it is currently bang on six o'clock, like literally six o'clock. Yeah, music playing. Say hi. Um, and drinking. And that's pretty much what we're gonna do for the rest of the day, so yeah. Twelve thirty six. You know, she can't see me, but we're currently in the tent, getting ready to go to bed. I haven't vlogged much today because I've literally been just like having drinks, talking to friends, nothing eventful. So. Good night. Day one of EPO. Good morning. It is 6.41. 6.41. September 1st. I have never been so cold in my life. Me and Scott were like, were like one last night because body warmth was the only warmth I was getting. Like we ate a journey brought one blanket. So Scott's so waiting for the alley to open run over and get us a sleeping bag other than that no complaints just really really fucking cold okay it is 10 43 scott went and got the sleeping bags at literally bang on seven like when the aldi opened and i have slept like a baby since then like i literally just woke up i feel revitalized i feel so much better so I think we're just gonna chill out here on our little camping trip for a while. And then get it changed and start going towards the act. The weather's, the weather's weathering, you know. I'm showing it up so hard right now. It's like drizzling, but obviously I can't straighten my hair again. I'm not paying like a tenner to use straighteners here. So I'm trying to keep my hair dry best as I can, but like, listen, probably give up later on the day. and just have to stick my hair back for the rest of the weekend, but. These are things you have to do when you're at EP, you know? 
um the ponchos cock are actually like really cool I'll, I'll like i'll get one and show you later there's like a ponchos and they're in like this little blue ball and you just clip it onto your jeans so you can just have it on you at all times pretty cool although i do think they are a one-time using like i don't think this poncho is going back into the ball you know i don't even know if you can hear me right now but i'm currently walking to see if i can get a portable charger a tree and it's like one of those where like you give it back and they like recharge it for you for the weekend so like hopefully i can get one of those because i all my portable chargers are dead okay so i got the portable charger it's like this i can hand it back three times so i'm gonna go hop back charge my phone and then when this dies i can go and get another one i have like a little wristband here um where i think they like take it off depending on how many times you give it back if you can see it there so that's what i'm gonna do anyways um i'm currently gonna go get a waffle because i'm absolutely starved like i'm not eating like i got a uh, toast yesterday but i just have no appetite i'm kind of like like that at festival i guess it is 1 47 i've just acquired breakfast i'm gonna go back to the tent and get changed soon but this is what i got i got an oreo milkshake and then i got this nutella and ice cream like toasted waffle looks yum i am so hungry home taste test Oh, it's actually much better than I thought. I do not have high hopes. It is 2.46. I am currently cutting my... It's 2.46? 2.46. Oh my god. Yeah. It's long. It's 6.11. Um, I've been ready for a while now. I'll go show that later on, but um, we start making our way to the arena. It's so tired, it's insane. <laughs> Eight seventeen. Just entered the car. We're on our way to wet like there. It's literally like right behind me. That's it there. That's the tent. Um, oh, they're on, but we're gonna sit outside because we have pizza. <laughs> pizza. There's a pizza. There's like screen, but like are like in there. But um, we're just gonna chill out here. I also got a little glitter tattoo. It's like stays there for like seven days. I feel it's up. Gonna start making our way over there now. Um, it's about a 10 minute walk, but we're literally going to Nalhorn for 10 minutes and then we have to run back, like a sprint back to make it for Steve Lacey. Cause he's on the arena, I just showed you there, that one there where Wet Legs playing. So, really repetitive right now, but yes, Nalhorn for 30 minutes and then sprinting back to make it for Steve Lacey. Just grabbed a wad of toilet paper from the bathroom because I forgot to bring my toilet paper with me and you know, every man for themselves out here, you know? Um, on the way to Nalhorn. Yes, right now, just gotta um, find my boyfriend. We have successfully made it to arena number two. Scott has a new point. You look out of it. I'm not out of it, I'm not. <laughs> He's not, but um, we're at the main stage. Currently they're playing Green Day um, and they just have them on screen. The Nile thing is already up, like a little show. But um, yeah, we're gonna try to stay back a bit so that way we can actually like sprint out the back and like run. You guys will see. Oh, 
He just literally came out, none of the music was playing, and he's after going back, like him and just all the rest of the band just went back in. They said we're experiencing technical difficulties and everything's after going dark again. So I think... <laughs> okay, right, anyways, I think he's going out now. Lazy. He's singing little things! It's a... No! I can just hear little things like above all this. This is so upsetting, oh my god. I wasn't expecting him to perform little things. Who is this geezer? Who is he? Devil make some fucking noise right now. The walk from Steve to Billy is insane. There are so many people here. It is like absolutely packed. You know, after getting like a sneak peek of the crowd at Billy, it is the whole field. I said I kind of wanted to go to Billy, but I don't think I'm getting even vaguely close to it. Like there are so many people. I'll show you this now. Oh my god, it's insane. Everything. Like I expected, don't get me wrong. Like, everyone loves Billy, but man, crazy. We have made it. We are here. Look at this. I don't even know if you can see it, the camera's like not focusing, it's packed. Cool. 10.39, we have finally made it to the main stage, there it is behind me. Oh, 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 oh. It's not focusing, that's the stage, there, the big like, blue thing. Billy is on in five minutes, five minutes, and we have like, a decent amount of space so we can boogie oogie, get on down, you know? But no, not enough that we're gonna get trampled, but like who knows? We could get rammed as soon as she comes on. I hope we have space time, but no promises in this life. Currently on the way back from Billy, she was absolutely incredible. I will update when I'm back in the tent and not lost. Cafe on the Saturday. Uh. It is a 51 day too. It's Saturday. I'm currently going to get another tree charger, like swap it out because this is dead. My phone's on 3%, Scott's phone's like dead. Um, my voice is completely gone. I managed to do like three fake nails. So I'm gonna have to see if I can put those back on. But yeah, gonna go get this, charge my phone. Scott went to Aldi and he got like a bit of breakfast. So there's like fruit pots and croissants and 
Shy, back in tent when it's not croissant, but it's like a croissant. So we're gonna go back, eat them now, charge our phones, and then I think we're gonna go away and explore some stuff like all the little stalls. Yeah, yeah, it is all. It's also foggy as hell out right now. But it's not that cold. I meant to say as well, a lot of the workers are English. Like people working in stalls. It is 10:48. We're currently sitting in this like little circle. Hey guys. Um, we need to get ready earlier today because Nessa Bar is at half four and I'm going to see her. And our friends, they have Keen to Crow at quarter to five, I think it is. Um, and we want to go have a look at all the like little stalls and all. So we're going to go in. I said I'm going to start getting ready in like an hour or two. We're just going to have a few cans and then start making our way. 16, we are on our way to Nessa Barrett. She's at the main stage. We have an hour until, just over an hour until she comes on. Um, and the rest of the day, we're pretty full. We have inhaler then after that. And then, oh no, we haven't quite decided who we're seeing later on. But yeah. Should I add in as well that this is also, it's so warm here. How hot would you say it was degrees wise? Today? Yeah. 24. Last year it was so cold, like four jumpers by the end of the night. Small skirt and top yesterday. Chilling. My voice is gone though. I was sitting top this whole day. Yeah. Literally so warm. Loving it. We are in the arena, we just got ice cream. I got a plain flake with strawberry sauce and flake. And you got, he got a twin call with sprinkles. I've gotten so much sun in me. You can see a bit of my face. That, I think that's a mix of blush and something. And then my chest is all red. It is literally all red. One thing about going with your boyfriend is you can't go toy with him. So I'm like, sitting just on the floor. 409, Ness is playing there. Um, 100% without a doubt in my mind. Um, I have burnt my shoulders. They are stinging. Stinging bad. Another thing I've noticed walking around is there's so many kids here, like not even like 10 year olds, like babies, three year olds. It's insane. There's all the people from Nessa there. So we're going to walk up a little bit and just chill her until she comes on. 420. 10 minutes till she comes on. Her little sign's up. Are you so excited? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. It is 6.44, Lovejoy is on in less than an hour. We're gonna go walk towards the arena. We're like just outside our tent. And we just came back to chill for a bit. We go back to the arena. Get pizza, watch Love Joy outside. I only go outside to see one day. Or we're just gonna sit outside like we did with well like it's sunny as fuck. Look how sunny it is. Here is a grenade hot air balloon. Whoa! I'm trying to focus it. Why? Like Oh and they cut more slices as well. Wilbur! Okay, Love Joy aren't on a half, they're on a quarter to. But also discovered last night, Nell Horn sang Story of My Life and Little Things. And I wasn't there, so that's upsetting. There they are! Wilbur! Currently at Lovejoy by myself, Scott's after going over to watch Inhaler. They're all for another 10 minutes. I'm gonna run over the points, see if I can get talk too much because I'm hoping they made that at the end. They just played one day. And all the other ones I to, it's just Wilbur, it's not by Lovejoy. So I'm gonna start walking over and see if McCoy goes on to 49. Yeah, McCoy goes on to 49. And then Inhaler starts at 8. So Inhaler starts at 10 minutes. Um, I told Scott to call me and say whatever. Okay, currently making my way over to the tree stage um, to go see Coin. I'm hoping they haven't played talk too much yet. If they have, I will be so upset. 
and I'm hoping the Taylor doesn't play it when it breaks until I get there, um, if they play it. But yeah, I'm on my way over to Coin now, and then I'm going to literally sprint, sprint to go see Taylor. Oh my god, festival stress you so much! <laughs> I talk too much as I got there, so I'm running over to the air. Oh my god. I hope it is anything. Everyone probably thinks I'm insane. I have made it to an Oh my god, look at the sunset. That's insane. There's an hair. Time to find Skull. Oh my god. I ran so fast. What are they, what are they playing? I can barely hear them. Went to Inhaler, great, they didn't play when the breaks though, which is so sad. Um, Matt Wine Scott, he's just gone to the toilet right now. Paolo Nutini is on, but we don't, we just don't really listen to Paolo Nutini, so I think we're going to go back to the tent and have a few drinks. But, funny story, this bloke just came up to me there and he's like this, just staring into my soul, so I was like, and I was like, he is out of it, he is so out of it, and he goes, Oh my god, I'm so sorry, you look like someone I know, that's so weird, I just stared at you, oh my god, I didn't mean that. I was like, no, it's, it's okay, he's like, I'm so sorry, that was so weird, and I was like, no, you're fine. And he walked away, he looked mortified, I feel so bad. I was like, you're fine, you're fine. Ten thirty-four. I meant to mention earlier, I got this little badge. There from drug aware and um, went back to the tent got changed i have five layers on on my top and four on the bottom i don't feel the gold i'm probably gonna sleep in this later on in my sleeping bag because i'm roasty toasty i think we're going to fret again we'll see it is 10 38 we've both decided we're not going to fret again um I wouldn't mind seeing him, I'd probably like to see him for one song. But the stage is so far away. We need to be ready for the script tomorrow. We need to be ready for the script tomorrow, guys. We need to be ready for you know? Uh, Rick Roll, Rick Astley. To roll us. <coughs> um, we're gonna go get food and literally go to bed. <laughs> I'm not in the mood to swing my jaw around. To swing my jaw around for a bit. Um, I personally think if we were to go to bed again, all the cokeheads would like bash so us. I feel like so boring. I know. We're so boring. No, we should we definitely go over for like one song, but well, we're just not. Post Malone. If it was Post Malone, yeah, but it's not. It's Fred, no, again. It's Fred again. Listen, we might have another chance to see Fred again. We were out in the condensation when they opened and closed. Just got a hot dog. No, a hot dog. Hot chocolate. And a crepe. And a, oh my god. The hot chocolate is lush. It is, it's on my fucking lips. It's so nice. Usually it's like real rich. Usually it's like really rich. It's It's 9.38, I'm currently sunburned to bits. I need to go change the like three chargers. But they didn't give me a wristband for this one, so I don't know if they're gonna exchange it or not. I'm hoping they do. But we'll see. I'm gonna see Rick Asti today. Killers, the script. I think Scott wants to go see Sal. But we'll see. If they don't change the charger, they have an issue. One of my favourite things about the morning is to have seen like everyone like I'm in what I wore last night, like what I slept in. 
everyone's just in their pajamas in track shoots and studies makes it off my face like my makeup's coming off my face and everyone just has like their heatless curls and all like in their hair still rollers and all it's great like everyone just looks like they are absolutely happy because you're already forget like all that while I was like back early like people were up here at one till like six o'clock and then woke up at eight like I, I think I'm the full like eight hours sleep Okay, so we have succeeded in getting our charges like there. But the person that gave to entry was like not happy about it at all. Because I went up and I was like, yeah, can I swap that out? And they were like, where's your wristband? And I was like, oh, like, he's never gave me a wristband for this one. And he was like, oh, they bought a one time use one. I was like, no, I didn't. And they were like, yeah, you did. I was like, no, I didn't because I paid 20 euro for my weekend one and I paid 20 euro for the other one. So how would. That'd be one time use one, then the other one's like a weekend use one, do you know what I mean? And then we were going back and forth and they were trying to explain it to me and I was like, man, like, it's on you for not giving me a wristband. Because I was not backing down, because you know, I don't have the funds for a portable charger. And then there was a big queue behind me, I was actually, like, partially mortified. But, like, I'm probably in the wrong, <laughs> to be fair. But, like, I could swear about a weekend one, you know what I mean? Anyways, they were like, right, yeah. And then had the, the other one, and I was like, thanks. And then walked off, kind of mortified, but like, fuck it, I will never see them again. Scott just came back with chicken feather roll. Here it one, is. Two. There's no queue except there's been a queue yeah, literally for Daddy all weekend, and um, him and Adam literally just went there. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. I literally just get, hold on, there's the horse roll. Josh roll. I mean, you order. It's just chicken. Just Spicy chicken. chicken. Spicy chicken. No butter. Oh, oh shit. I got cheese, taco sauce, bar, and spicy chicken. And nice. More, and more taco sauce. Slice, slice. Look at the slice of cheese. It's not even grated. It's just sliced <laughs> and then ketchup. And then just ketchup. And then I literally just have like I just got boring chicken on the on eventful hall. There it is now. From Rondex, there is six ninety five. You choke extortion is that? Currently, oh my god, it's so bad in the camera as well. Currently sitting in the shade, I am scalded as fuck. Oh my god. It's so bad. Scott's drinking Heineken, I don't really like to taste Heineken, and they were giving out like free white claws. So I went up, then he went up, then I put on this top and a cap and some glasses, and I got another one. She kind of looked at me when I went back up, she was like, Did she? I was like, Thank you. Current life update. We're on the way to Agassi. I am so. Sunburned. We had to go to like the medic's tent to get after the sun. And as we were walking in, they looked at us and they're like, they're coming in for after the sun. And then we got sun cream. And then walking back, we walked past the toilet. And I had my jersey out covering my shoulders. And this random girl came up to me and she's like, You look like you need sun cream. I was like, I would love some sun cream. But yeah, on the way to Rick Astley. <laughs> Like I don't give a monkeys no more. I literally do not give a monkeys. Do you want one more? Yeah. To be honest, you're gonna get it anyway. I hope you can find my island. I need all the help I can get at this point. Come on, let's go, baby. We both hate it. <laughs> it's so rickety. That's what's his name, James Gavin. And then look at the amount of people for the wolf tones. It is packed. It doesn't even do it justice. From here, like look at that.
can see it. There's a big difference. I'm waiting for the script. We got pizza. Um, this is the worst sunburn I have ever had in my life. And it's so much pain. Oh my god, shoot me. But it's like for the script. for the killers come out. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. This is the worst pain I've ever had in my life. It is insane. It's like I'm being constantly stung by like wasps all over me. Like I can't, I can't do that. But I wanna see Mr. Brightside so my dolly and all that shit so. And we're walking over to the left side stage. So as soon as they're over, we kinda should just fuck off. We go back to our time. Is going on still behind me they might be my new favorite band they said bless their poor little soul she's not feeling well let's send her home mr brightside humans and so told me in the first 20 minutes go for another hour they are on for another hour while are they gonna perform sorry if anyone's watching this they're like a big killer song but like that was me out i was saying i was gonna go before they even started and they played all the songs i wanted i was like surely they'll play somebody tell me last no EPL guys, like that's me though. 9.36, PG is over. Currently put away the tent now. I don't know how we're gonna carry this shit back because like I'm not able to put it on my shoulders because I'm so sunburned, so. That's gonna be a scary. Look at him go. He's doing such a great job. 10.39. Was that 12? We're like sitting, sitting on the floor, slept into the toilet. Oh my god, this hurts so much, guy. This is the worst part of VP, 100% carrying this shit up and back. <laughs> I look so bad. It is 2.45, September 4th. I am home, I'm in my room. Electric picnic is doing over. I'm gonna get Domino's, have a pack of crisps. I'm gonna go shower soon. Um, that's only so sore, sunburn. But yeah, that's my electric picnic experience. For any of those wondering what electric picnic was like from just like a normal person's experience, that's what my AP was like. So I'm going to go start editing this video now and hopefully have it posted by tomorrow thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed